Hey guys, what's up? In this video, we'll be going through how we can fix the Windows Post Notification User Service has stopped working error. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. So the first solution is to check for any uh, memory leaks using the SFC scan tool. So hit Windows key along with that, open up the run dialog and then type in CMD and then hit Control, Shift, Enter and then click OK. So that would open up the command prompt for you. Now type in SFC space forward slash scan now and then hit enter so it would begin its scanning process and once it's done try to restart your computer and check to see if the windows push notification user service continue to crash your uh, computer or not now the solution number two is to rename or delete the notification folder in safe mode so hit windows key along with r to open up the run dialog and then type in ms config and then hit ok now in the system configuration window check the option that says save boot and then click ok and then now restart your computer in the safe mode so once you are in the safe mode Navigate to the directory, C users, and then your username, then app data, then local, then Microsoft, and then Windows. Now in the Windows folder, look for the folder that is called app data. In case you can't find it, uh, go to the view tab and check hidden files. So once you see the app data folder, locate the notification folder inside it, and then rename it to something else like old notification or something, or simply delete that folder. Now restart your computer and see if the issue still persists or not. Now the third solution is to uninstall the do not disturb component of Avast or AVG. So open up the Avast user interface by clicking on the icon in the system tray, or if there is any icon on the desktop, you can double click that. So once you are in the software, navigate to the settings option and then click on components. Now click the downward facing arrow next to the component that you want to remove. In our case, it's do not disturb mode and then click uninstall component then click ok to confirm now simply restart your pc and see if the issue still persist or not now the fourth solution is to update your windows to the latest version so hit windows key and then navigate to the settings tab inside the settings click windows updates and then check for windows updates and if there is any update available make sure that you do it and see if the issue still persists or not now in case none of the above solution works out so simply replace your antivirus that is the last resort now go to the control panel and click uninstall a program and from here Simply remove the antivirus that you have on your PC and find out a better one to resolve this issue. So we hope that one of these solutions would have worked out for you guys. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.